Joining me now, Mark Levin, the great one, host of Life, Liberty, and Levin, and the author of the fantastic new book, American Marxism. Mark, thank you so much. Congrats on the new book. But I got to say, you also literally wrote the book on Americanism. I remember when I read it, Rediscovering Americanism. Americanism is the opposite of globalism. How are we to stop what I'm dubbing Global Joe's agenda? Well, you start by having a brilliant monologue like yours, so we actually talk about the facts, and we actually take our language back and call things what they actually are. You know, the purpose of immigration is not to support the country from which the immigrant comes from, or even the immigrant. The purpose of immigration has historically been what's in the best interest of the American people. But when you believe the American people are systemically racist, you don't really care what's in the best interest of the American people. Hmm. The Democrat Party uh, does not love this country. As a matter of fact, as each day goes by, demonstrates that it hates this country. So does the President of the United States. You listen to that state of confusion speech, it was abundantly clear. He never talked about liberty. He never talked about personal responsibility. He never talked about unalienable rights. He never talked about uh, property rights. He never talked about the things upon which this nation uh, was based. Uh, Joe Biden and the Democrat Party want to fundamentally change America. If you mm -hmm. want to fundamentally change something, you don't like it. As a matter of fact, <laughs> you hate it. Massive yes. taxation, massive regulation, massive spending, massive debt. They're igniting inflation as we speak. Wide open southern border. You have MS-13, drugs pouring across the border. You have massive child abuse going on there, and Joe Biden doesn't give a damn. They pick the teachers' union and the muscle of that union over educating our children. They're undermining our police. They're undermining our military. They're pushing racism in our schools so people are constantly at each other's throats. They are strengthening the, the uh, regime in Iran, which threatens to shoot nuclear missiles at us once they acquire them. He's kowtowing to the communist Chinese. He aims to destroy the Supreme Court, pack the Senate, eviscerate the election laws. Does this sound like a man and a party that love this country? I don't think so. Now, on this immigration front, assimilation. A country simply cannot survive if its culture, if its principles are not shared by the citizens. Yes. A country simply cannot survive if our elementary school students and middle school students and high school students are being taught racism packaged as something else. Our colleges and universities are hotbeds of old Soviet propaganda. Now, we have to claw our way back, but it begins first by identifying exactly what's going on. This isn't democratic socialism. This isn't liberalism. This isn't progressivism. This is an American form of Marxism, where you have oppressors and oppressed, where you have class yes. warfare taking place here. Joe Biden has no intention of bringing this country together. And I want to tell you why, Pete. Joe Biden has never, ever been anything but a two-bit street politician out of Wilmington, Delaware. He's never done anything in the private sector in his entire life. He lied his way through law school. He lied his way throughout his Senate career. He lied his way in a few uh, presidential campaigns, and he was caught. Back then, it actually mattered when he was mouthing words that Robert Kennedy and Neil Cunnock, the head mm -hmm. of the Labor Party in Britain, said, today it doesn't much matter. We have a man in the Oval Office who wants to be FDR, who wants to be LBJ, and he wants to be Barack Obama. He doesn't want to be a great patriot at a time of great threats to the United States. Not even close. And he is creating, he is creating a domestic situation here where he is at war with the economy. He's at war with our immigration system. He's at war with the middle class. He's kowtowing to our enemies. I mean, uh, it's, I don't think we've ever seen anything like this in modern Mark, American history. I think for so many people watching it, it the, 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 speed with which the trajectory of this country changed from Donald Trump to whoever's running Joe Biden, uh, it, it's got people beside themselves. There was just an announcement tonight uh, that, that President Donald Trump, former president, now has a social media platform that he'll use more frequently to share videos and information. What should he be saying? What do patriots need to be saying to fight back against American Marxism? How do you defeat this? First of all, I feel like we are the Solzhenitsyns here. And I feel like Donald Trump is a tremendous patriot who's trying to find ways to crack through this autocracy yes. that is growing and growing at speeds that we never thought before. First of all, kudos to the president, that is President Trump, for doing this. 
I think these, uh, these big tech companies, they have used dark money and other things to influence our elections. They're the biggest threat we have to free speech and freedom of association in this country. I think the big media in this country is in the bag for the Democrats. It's no different than the media for Putin or Xi or the rest. They are utterly and completely corrupt, which is a grave threat to this country. I think what we need to do, quite frankly, is we need to take many of the tactics of the left, whether it's uh, Clower and Piven, whether it's Alinsky, whether it's the BDS movement, and apply it to them. And that's one of the things I talk about in right. the book. Uh, and we need You're to right. use their tactics against them. Because they've been so effective. I look at a guy like uh, James O'Keefe, for example, whose motto of Project Veritas is be brave, do something. You have to do something to expose it. Otherwise, they control everything. And your books, Mark, I got to say, we're, we're out of time. But your books, from rediscovering Americanism to American Marxism, have charted the course for a generation of constitutional conservatives. And we're so grateful for you. Thank you for the fight and for, for lighting the way for us. We appreciate it, Mark. Pete, thanks for your patriotism, both on and off the battlefield. God bless you, my friend. Mark, thank you so much, and thanks for joining us on Fox News Primetime. We appreciate it.